their steps seem almost effortless, but don't be fooled. They're watching Rai, Kylie, and Lila from New York's Ballet Academy East. Our Faith Saley walks a mile in their shoes. In the world of ballet, Christmas means one thing, the Nutcracker. Stages across the country fill with twirling snowflakes, leaping candy canes, and lots and lots of point shoes. So how many point shoes do you think you go through in a year? Oh gosh. Well, I can tell you like during a week, I would go through 10 pairs of shoes. More than a shoe a day. Yeah, it depends on what you're dancing, but I like a newer pair of shoe for every single show that I do. Tyler Peck is a principal dancer and one of the Sugar Plum Fairies with the New York City Ballet. The company goes through more than 500 shoes a month during Nutcracker season. Why do point shoes have to be replaced so often? Why can't you get a good pair and just use them for a while? <laughs> um, I think it's because we're sweating in the shoes and also we're dancing on the tip. So if there's nothing to kind of hold you up, it could be like really dangerous. Ballerinas began dancing on their toes in the late 1700s when a dancer named Charles Didelot invented a system of wires to lift dancers off the ground, hovering on their toes, elongating the lines of their legs. This inspired the creation of the point shoes we know today, shoes sturdy enough to hold up a dancer without the help of wires. And centuries later, the shoes are still made by hand. One of the most respected manufacturers is Freed of London. Ray Rawlings has worked as one of the shoemakers here for nearly 30 years. Everyone's a challenge, every shoe, every dancer. This is a perfect shoe, Ray. Yes. <laughs> That's so beautiful. The makers usually don't meet the dancers. Many have never even seen a ballet but they say they still feel connected to the art form. You do get pride in what you're doing, making shoes for these dancers, and you know, they just seem to like to bring the shoes to life. Each maker has their own process, creating shoes that are slightly different. And every dancer has her own specifications. So when she finds a shoe that fits, she's a loyal customer. Now, if I'm your prima ballerina and I'm, I'm, I stick with you, how do I know that my shoe was made by Ray? Each maker's got their own maker stamp, and my one's the crown, so there can't be any confusion. So, you know, when you do get a dancer, you stay, they stay with you for life and all of their career. It's kind of like matchmaking. Like, once you find your, your soulmate, S-O-L-E, you oh, stick yeah. with him. The shoes might look like they're made of wood, but they aren't. Each is made from layers of fabric and paper hardened by flour paste, almost like a paper mache, and surrounded by satin. The shoemakers then flatten out the tip with a hammer, providing a platform strong enough to support a dancer, but only for so long. So when you put a hot, sweaty foot in there, it breaks in quick, it hits its sweet zone for a while, and then it just breaks down. So a sweet zone is like one show? Yeah. Lynette Rowe is the shoe supervisor at the New York City Ballet. How much money do you spend per year um, on shoes? Uh, almost 780000 a year. Yeah. For how many dancers, um, approximately? Well, I mean, including the men and the women and the apprentices, it's 101 dancers in the company. How much does it hurt to dance in these? You want to put one on? Uh, sure. <laughs> You want to know what it feels like? Cinch it down. <laughs> so demure. <laughs> and then you adjust your bar. There you oh. go. <laughs> there must be a point wow. to yep. all this pain. So we checked in with the Sugar Plum Fairy. So are you ready? How did the shoes feel? Shoes feel good. Is there any pain? No, never while you're dancing. I think because, you know, adrenaline and everything. Maybe sometimes after it's a little, you know, they're a little sore or swollen, but. I mean, we're so used to it. And you're in the land of sweets, nothing hurts. Yeah, I know, I said this is my first show this season. I was like watching the, the tree grow backstage and it's just like never gets old. It's like, 
It's so magical. <laughs> and with that, the Sugar Plum Fairy is ready to put her best foot forward.